So yeah, we're gonna check out uh, Stray. I've heard the game isn't super long, and to be completely honest, that is actually a net positive for me. Uh, that was one thing that made me that made me want to try out the game. So I was like, oh, it could be like a four to six hour game in general. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That means I can actually play it in one stream and not worry after, about having to return to it. Uh, it seems like, and even Simmons is like, it's good. You know, you should play it. I'm like, oh, I want to play it. I'm, uh, I kind of just want to check it out, play through it, play a single player game, something that I don't have to grind and focus on multiplayer. Let me click this button. Hopefully the game doesn't launch directly into, uh, into itself. Uh, this will be a good, good testing game of stream quality. Right, I don't think this is, uh, I don't think this is a, uh, crazy, uh, FPS. I think it's a third-person cat game. It's a brand new, relevant action experience. Last one was Elden Ring. Um, I mean, the last big playthrough was Elden Ring for sure. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, like, we, we did play through Street Fighter Story. We did play through, um, Def Jam. We played through all of Def Jam, which was pretty great. I'm trying to think of what else we might have done over the past, like, few months, ever since our big... Oh, we played through RE4. That was it. Yeah, we played the randomizer uh, RE4. That's a cat. For anyone who wants to see me play through some stuff, and I just haven't been so... Alright. Uh, so, here's the kitty game. Let's check it out. I grew up with I grew up uh, with nothing but cats. Benny was actually my first dog. So let's get started. I don't even think last time I've had a dog or beanie. It's been a long time. My first dog cat. The dog mod. I know that the, well, there is a bunch of mods on the PC version. But, you know. Everyone was telling me the PS5 version runs significantly better. Tell me how crispy this all looks, chat. I appreciate it. Let me know how good the stream quality is. It gets me off. Ooh. Giddy. There's some mad TAA going on in here, but it's not bad. Commune with other kitty. That is how cats act. It certainly is. I have home videos of, uh, of, of our cat. It looked like a Garfield, right? It kind of looked like a, an older version of this cat. But, um, yeah, he would sit on the couch like this. He would literally hold one up, like he'd be on the couch, and then there'd be the arm of the couch would be there. And he would, no kidding, sit with his arm on the couch and just hang out. I, I, I might even have a video of it. I'm not even lying. Hang on a second. Uh, I want you to pay no attention to the human that you see in front of you, but I want you to pay all attention to the cat. That's in the back. Look at this. Look at this cat. This is what he did all day long. This is literally what he did all day long. And he just hung out here. And if I, I'm going to skip forward. Oh, uh, wait, wait. I'm going to skip forward. I'm going to skip forward. I'm going to look in there. Wait, wait. The camera moved. Yeah, he's still there. He just hung out here all day long. That was a good kitty. That was a crybaby. Anyway, we moved and he ran away. It just happens. Every cat that I've had, unfortunately, um, outside of one, every single cat, and I've had like seven or eight cats, uh, every single cat eventually something traumatic happens or they run away or they get, uh, you know, a coyote gets them or something like that. I think there's only one cat I've ever had that died of a, ten of a potential, like, natural causes, so... You don't even get to say goodbye. That's the shittiest part. Right? They're like your best friend, and then they're just gone. Like, you don't even... And the funniest thing, uh, the cat that I, I've talked to you guys about a couple of times, his name was Bubba. Or, aka Runt Dude. 
uh, RD was uh, almost killed like three times. Like he survived an attack. He got stuck in a house for a week, uh, our neighbor's house for a full week. And he also uh, got hit by a car. And no kidding, uh, he made it. He always survived. And then one day, uh, he just never came back home. Sucks, man. Anyway, let's play the Happy Kitty game now. Yeah, he used up all of his nine lives, man. And the thing is, we saved him for like three or four of them. Kitty's all sleepy. Kitty's all sleepy. Yo, Silenty, thanks for the prime, dude. It's an artsy game, I appreciate that. I can't think of the last, like, artsy game I really played through completely. The, the one that immediately comes to mind is Journey. You know? Journey was pretty good. It was straightforward. Ori? I mean... Ori's definitely an artsy game, and all games are artsy games, but like... Games that are trying to go for, like, different... different feel. You know? They're trying to convey some different sort of messaging than the usual game is. Sifu's an artsy game, but it still is, like, pretty video gamey at its core. Cuphead's an arts artsy game, but it's, you know, Contra, for God's sake. I'm not saying those games aren't artsy, I'm just saying, like... What they're trying to communicate with what their message is through the gameplay, through the game itself, is a little, like, abstract. I didn't play Kenna, but that's like the most... It's an artsy game, obviously, but it's the most third-person action game looking action game I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I actually have uh, been kind of wanting to go back and play Control. That just came out at a bad time as well. And I just didn't play it. Uh, hang on a second. Let me see if we can. Ooh. Oh. I don't think I changed it. I did not. Yeah, Returnal's coming to PC. Returnal, I think, is a... It, Re Returnal is like a good example. Returnal and Control are pretty similar, I, at least at least from my outsider perspective of Control. Where those games are, are trying to go for something different, right? They're trying to really do something different with its storytelling and characters and stuff like that. But when you, when you boil it down, like, Control is like a really crazy physics, from my perspective on the outside, crazy physics, like, you know, third-person action game. Like, insane sci-fi. And then you got Returnal, which is a... Sorta of similar kind of thing? Sorta? Of? Sorta? Of? Yeah, I should play it. That'd be one of those games that'd be great to fire up at like 4K, 120 hertz or something. It looks like a good, like, fidelity demo. Oh my god, my PlayStation controller is resisting me. Game, you're you're wearing out my triggers here. I'm stopping. This game, I, I, have, I have to consider that you are, every single time I do this, it is making this be worse and worse and worse. Alright? You said Returnal's coming to PC. It is. Uh, it, it's all but confirmed. There, There's the, the files for it are on Steam. 
Like, it's happening. Which is great because... Uh, Returnal's not exactly a 4K PS5 game. It, it kind of is a lower resolution title. So, just imagine that game looking as good as it will. When it comes to PC, oh my god. I'll 100% go back to Returnal. I would, I, I kind of, I kind of like that I like stayed away from all the new content and stuff so that I could just be absorbed by it all over again when it comes out. I can't wait because that game got polished a lot since, since it was released. Drinking. Yeah, Returnal is like, I felt like the game was made for me. I did press circle to meow. I am meowing. What I need is a boost button. Where's the button that makes the cat flip the fuck out? That's like your devil trigger in this game? Got it. R2 just all of a sudden out of nowhere. Wait, what? Why? to let loose. Welcome back to the stage of history. Cool. You guys should make a Lion King game. It's not 3 a.m. and nobody's sleeping, so the cat can't let loose. Yes, yeah, very true. Can't suddenly jump from the kitchen to the walls. So the sweat drops from my balls. Back. Oh, I can run. This is the zoom button, but it's not like, you know, the devil trigger. It's funny that PlayStation's really starting to, diver to diversify its uh, first-party game lineup. Even though, the, I mean, I guess this is first-party? The, um... You get, like, every single main PlayStation game now, like, looks the same. From even Final Fantasy VII Remake to Horizon to Last of Us. Like, they're all these third-person action shooter games, right? And they really are diversifying, and now they're making third-person cat games. Um, true innovation. Don't forget Ratchet. Yep, that's a third-person action game. There's no cats in that one, though. At least I don't think. It's got like a squirrel and a robot or some shit. What is this, a Kubrick film? Yes, it is. I'm hobbling! No, no! Huh? Are they, like, crying out for me over here? Can I look all the way up? Oh, come on, dude. Oh, no, I- I fell. Hella far! Oh, my god! Oh, my god, that was hella far. Did I just pass out? I did. Did I just pass out? Minus one life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's how 
How big you cheated death is how many lives you lost. That wasn't just one life. That cost like three. Okay. Good thing. Oh, do you lick to heal yourself? That's amazing. That's good. That's the way cats actually work. I don't care about gates. I'm loving the presentation so far. The, like, fictional language. Is this a body? A robot body? Zatmo's great. Yes, this is the story of a cat from Final Fantasy VII Remake. One of those very expensive 3D cats. Does this, does this say Chalupa? Go towards the Chalupa kitty. It's the only way. Welcome back to the stage of history. If I jump over here, where do I go? Here? Good thing cats can read English. Or maybe I, maybe I can. Wait, is that in my mouth? I very infrequently have ever seen cats put things in their mouths of all the cats I've had, except prey. Except like a dead squirrel or a bird or something. Chat, you know how your cat loves you? They will... hunt. If you have a wilderness cat, it will hunt. And it will bring back the hunt to you. But... It won't bring you the kill. It will leave... the kill... and whatever was inside the kill that they didn't eat... at your doorstep. So you'd be, uh, it'd be this some wonderful evening of going to school... or morning of going to school, and then as soon as you walk out the front door, there's, there's this pile of... entrails and shit. You're like... Thanks. Thanks, kitty. I don't know if I want to go in there. Anybody that has outdoor cats knows exactly what I'm talking about. The most gormless DoorDash. Uh, I don't think I can climb on that. I cannot. Oh, 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 oh. This is hu this is human brain time, right? Since this is a cat without a human brain, we have to use our human brain abilities. Hang on a second. Human brain. This game isn't expecting cats to be playing it, right? That's what I have just learned. The game expects you, a person, to be playing a cat, not you to have a cat brain and a human body. Am I getting through to you? Aha. Yep, this is definitely a cat game. That's for sure. Bitch-ass cats. Yep. Every single fucking one. Think I'm gonna leave anything unscathed? You damn straight I'm not. You damn straight.
Look at these anti-bird things. Huh? Get this anti-bird bullshit out of here. Hey. Get out of here. I said get out of here. Oh. Oh. Damn, on somebody's bed? Okay. Yeah, I think that's the better question. Did cats actually make this game? Are there secretly... Are there secretly cat devs? Not like people making cat games, but cats making people games. These are the serious questions that you can only get on this channel answered. If a dev is in here, can you confirm that you are, a, if not a cat? Do you have some sort of weird micromanaged keyboard to type? Because your kitty paws would be too big for the keys? I'm here to ask the, ask the real questions in this industry. Cute. I'm sitting here trying to think what's the best cat movie. Outside of Lion King, because that's cheating. Lion King's cheating. What's the best cat movie? Stuart Little? Garfield? <laughs> Aristocats? See, the chat said the one that came to my mind. Uh, who's ever seen Homeward Bound? I would, I would actually argue it is Homeward Bound, but it could also be that one movie about, you know, what's his name as a cat and he's, he's a fencer from Shrek. Puss in Boots, you know, but that isn't fucking, oh, The Cat Returns. Hell yeah. That's actually Jessica's favorite Ghibli movie is The Cat Returns. Yeah. Hell Yeah. Hell yeah, it's the cat returns. Of fucking course it is. Gee, wow, yeah. Can't believe that didn't come to mind. Huh. Aeoli. That's what that says, chat. This is the Aeoli corner. There's a very bougie part of the... part of the city. <laughs> the Areola... Areola corner? Now we're in a very specific subset. Is the PC version of Stray good? I just heard that there there was some technical issues on PC, that the game was optimized for PS5, so I just got it on PS5. And I haven't used my PS5 in a long time. I was feeling bad for it, you know? So I left it some milk and cookies overnight, and I said I'd play you tomorrow. Can't lie to my PS5. It's weird. Oh god, I have to run. I have to run, and my hands cannot move. <laughs> I have to run and my hands cannot move. I have no mouth, yet I must scream. Are these things trying to eat me? Get this thing off me! Oh, get the whole... Oh, they're like taking over the city. Ugh. I need cat drifting. Why don't we have cat drifting? Probably could have gone down there for an A, uh, uh... I probably could have gone to the right. It would have just brought me out there. Jesus! Why is this game more cyberpunk than cyberpunk? Huh? What is it? How did cyberpunk fail so much at being cyberpunk? How is the game more cyberpunk than cyberpunk, chat? What the hell?
Oh, you're telling me that meowing is like the wind in Ghost of Tsushima? I like it. Are, are we trying to say that... Is meowing like your wind that shows you where to go? Ehoy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My cat and I led myself to a terror. Okay. Why do robots need noodles? Seriously. Oh god. You know what I want? I want another Astrobot game. I actually want PlayStation Mario. With nothing but PlayStation references throughout. Just like, fuck it. Just acknowledge your history as being your game. You know, I'd be down for that. Levels that just references like classic PlayStation games and stuff. I want a Bloodborne level in Astrobot. That's what I'm trying to say. There. Yeah, Astro's Playroom was really cool. It was quite fun. I came over from there, right? Yeah. Uh oh. What? Yeah, this feels like the actual, you know, this is the gameplay. Once again, it's, I, 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 I compare this game. Can I jump through the hoop? No. Sort of compare this game to like Journey. Aha, huh. that happened. Went through the gameplay loop. I sort of compare this game to like Journey, right? Where it's mostly about you and the experience instead of the uh, the hardcore parkour. Journey was pretty great. It's like the epitome of like an artsy, an artsy kind of game. Right, I can meow. Can I push? Stupid barrel. Wait, maybe if I go inside. Uh huh. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Was that nerd coin? Are they trying to peddle us their crazy future Bitcoin horse shit? That, that nerd coin chat? How many? How many did you buy? How many cryptos did you buy, chat? How many cryptos did you get, huh? I hope, it, I hope it's working out for you. How many did you buy? Enough to lose it all. <laughs> oh shit. Ambient soundtrack thingamajig definitely doing it for me, that's for sure. Can I jump up there? Ah, I saw the blank of wood. Did I get any Mega Millions numbers? Yes, I won the lottery. I think all of you guys did too. Congrats, by the way. 
I think everyone became a billionaire overnight. Congrats to everybody that won the lottery. Seriously, congrats, Chad. I'm very happy for you. For us. And it's gone. Bunch of crazy horse shit over here. Okay. What? Whoa. Kitty, don't do it. No, Kitty. Okay. Hell's on. Huh? Welcome back to the stage of history. Uh oh, dead ends, dead end shit. Wait, I'm a cat. Damn. How did he know? What's well, one way to fix that? I'm taking this battery with me. Did I just drop it? I did. I dropped it in like the worst place. Oh, definitely a cat. Fall asleep on keyboard. How do I... How do I fall asleep on the keyboard, chat? What do I... What does a guy have to do? To fall asleep on the goddamn keyboard. Huh? Every single robot in this town is a hippie because they have doors like this. Some real hell. Huh? Turn that shit off. <laughs> Turn that shit off. Oh, there's a camera over here. And there's a key card access over here. There's a key... Hell yeah! Oof, Fiji. Oh, help! I'm helping! <laughs> it's my only way to communicate. I don't know how to write or read. Get in the cat scanner. Whatever the heck that is. Everybody in this world still has 4x3 monitors. Ooh.
Oh. Is this where I get sucked into the world of Tron? Huh? Oh, I was thinking I was gonna go up there and get that key. Huh? Okay. All right. Is that an ancient hard drive? It is. Yeah, it's not ancient. That's actually, considering its fucking size, maybe I'm just a small cat. Chat, can you imagine that we're about to be close to... Oh, I see another one. The era of operating systems that aren't going to require spinning drives anymore? Welcome. Apparently, I was reading this thing that Microsoft is essentially holding everyone back. Because Microsoft OS's still are designed with the fact that people might not have solid states. So they still are designed, even Windows 11 is like built in a way that still works around the fact that, oh, you might be using a spinning drive still, you know? You have to account for that. Because even like hybrids, HDD slash SSD hybrids are now like ancient. No reason to have those anymore. SSDs are still expensive? Not really, man. The, the SSDs are now cheaper than regular hard drives because regular hard drives are more expensive to make. Like, it's funny. It's weird. I guess that does depend on the region. Yeah, it depends on the country, where you're from, how accessible is that stuff. Oh, there's something to jump up there. Oh, cool. One terabyte SSDs are still expensive as F? What the heck are you? What are you, where are you guys shopping or where are you from? I mean, if you're from like some, a different, like some place where it is expensive, then I get it. Yeah, like a two terabyte SSD is very cheap like that should not cost you if you're talking about the ones that go in systems they rip your ass off there right if you're talking like some basic ass like western digital ssd or something i don't know hard to find a 12 terabyte ssd in general yeah but i mean even if you're getting the 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 because I, I actually have some larger storage i have like nine terabyte uh regular external hard drives but even i know that that shit you're probably thinking of NVMEs. Yeah, that's completely different. NVMEs are like way better. M2s are way better than SSD. Yet you have to realize what I'm talking about is the thing that comes before M2 drives, like way before that. And we're still stuck in the shit from like the early 2000s and the 90s and shit. We're still stuck in like RPM speeds on your fucking like disk drives. And even compared to, compared to those, like, yeah, SATA SSD is crazy fast. And M2 drives, which directly connect to, like, your motherboard type shit, or your PCIe lanes, um, are even quicker, like, insanely quicker. M2s are the what is essentially running, uh, and they're not even, like, it's not even crazy expensive anymore. I mean, it's obviously the most expensive option, but... M2 drives are the fastest accessible, like, write speeds that, uh, you can pretty much run on right now. It's what is on current Xboxes, it's what's in PlayStations. It's allow things to, it allow things to be loaded at, like, a lightning fast speed. Anyway, it's just interesting because I've had to, um, I've had to get... Oh, is the other one just sitting right here? What the shit? Did I not put it in here? I might not have. Uh, I've had to get a, a couple of really specific compatible old school hard drives for uh, my PlayStation and Xbox. So it's weird that I'm still like looking for. Oh, it's right here. I'm looking for this like old technology now because the old systems essentially need it still. You know, the the, the PlayStation Two runs off like IDE and shit like that. It's like what the hell. 
I have to find an old IDE drive, and it was not cheap, man. Getting like, I, I bought like a two, bought like a terabyte IDE spinning hard drive. This is spooky. And, uh, it was like over, it was like 150 bucks. It was not cheap, because it was a newer one. Yeah. Something fell. This is going to be the device that saves the world. You watch. This is what saves the world. Can't meow with thing in mouth. Can I get in the box? Of course not. This isn't that kind of a game, chat. Oh, this is the, the, the drone. For a scientist who lived here. It's a good thing I understand crazy robot language. Oh, now he can do errands for me. Cool. Yo, Atonement, thanks for the bits, dude. And Spartan Martian, thanks for the 10 months. Cat pack. It's definitely acting like a cat, right? <laughs> wow. Wow. It's gonna take a while to get used to this. I hope the rest of the game is played this way, right? 100% realistic. If you put a piece of tape, like scotch tape, on a cat's back chat, this is exactly what they'll do. I have no idea. No one's ever had a cat before. I'm the only one. I'm letting you know. Come on, man. Move it or lose it. Small quadrupeds. Should have just full, filled it full of catnip. Resident Evil. Memories. Huh? Cat memories. No, don't. Don't wear out my buttons on my controller. Meow. Meow. I'm not jumping out back that way. Translate. Welcome 
Is that concept art? Is that concept art for the game? Is it? I do believe it is. We go down the toilet? Robo Bingo, or whatever the heck your name is. How the hell do we get out of here? Welcome back to the stage of history. Bucket stocking, thank you. I got the keys. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, it was to this door. Oh, regular keys to uh, a door that looks like it required a key card. Got it. Too bright. My eyes. Oh, why is that thing so lit? Why is it so lit? Nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. Identified cat thing. Immediately forgot how to... There we go. Turn this light off. Ah, oh, shit. I have to be using my human brain in my cat body. Okay. The code is 3 plus 48. Gotcha. Chat, what's 3 plus 48? Ninety-two? What in the holy dumb fuck? Yeah. Ugh. These things are everywhere. Bye bye. Oh, is this a core memory? Crimson Narrow, thank you, Celestria. Appreciate it. memory unlocked Welcome back to the stage of history Welcome back to the stage of history Okay <laughs> Trying to kill me Oh god. Oh god. Art! Art! Game is more cyberpunk than cyberpunk. Oh my god. I want these devs to make a brand new Panzer Dragoon game. Let me have it. Cat, run! Sound the alarms.
And like it, it's weird how it's got those moments where if the camera goes like right in front of the cat's eyes, yeah. It's got the weird ass refraction lens that cats have in front of their, in front of their eyelids that allow them to see at night. This is where I activate my devil trigger and I flip the shit out. I understand. Do cats see colors? I think cats see color, right? It's dogs that are colorblind. Isn't it that dogs just see like gradient yellow? Sorta? Cats have pretty good eyes. It's dogs that have like weird eyesight. They replace it with their crazy scent, uh, 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 what's it called? Crazy nose. Sense of uh, smell, you know? <laughs> uh, okay. Does the trick. Oh, the item was up there. Gotcha. Yeah, I like- I like this slum a lot. It reminds me a lot of, like... Oh, I just realized this place is very Midgar-inspired. Right? I was just about to say how much of... Uh, especially colors and tones, what, what makes, like, Midgar at night and FF7 Remake look so good. Um... And it's their use of, like, lighting, it just looks fucking amazing. These strange images. What the hell? Who's RGB man? Oh. Did I just progress a quest line? How oh, funny. What? Huh? Can- can cats drink Red Bull? Probably not recommended. Probably not recommended that anybody drink Red Bull. What was this- was this here just for me? Am I about to save? Am I saving? I guarantee you that somebody has... My controller is purring. My controller is purring, chat. This, we, what we need is one of these, one of these robot characters to, to give the cat, like, an epic butt scratch, you know? Just like right on the top, right on the, the lower part of their back and the top part where their tail is, right before it, and just like give them a good scratch and make them flip the fuck out. <laughs> like, drives every cat like insane to the point where they're so happy they're just losing their mind. 
There needs to be one of those. Come on. One of those crazy, like, back-to-butt scratches that cats just lose their minds on. Yeah. Pet the controller. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, man. Dog is the same way. I have one. <laughs> Detergent. I don't got that. Uh, I'll save it. I'll come back. <gasps> Where the hell am I going? I'm a cat. There's no rhyme or reason. Just acting and doing and reacting. Okay. Welcome back to the stage of history. Yo, thank you for the five months. Gotta, like, get up there and do all the shit. Okay, here's a start. Whoa. Maybe he'll like seeing the sky from here. You weirdo. That dude's arranging paint cans. Just a big cat here. I'm still meowing. Oh, I can't knock them over. Those are non-cat destructibles. I need to like get over here or something, right? Find out. Wait, what? I ain't got no time to sleep. I have objectives. I'm a cat. I do have time to watch TV, though. Ah, this sucks. Should scratch the shit out of this couch. 
Not the rug, the couch. Forty-two. Creepy. Looking for a safe behind a bunch of books. I just can't keep meowing. Oh, there's the good stuff. Yeah, tear this couch up. Rip this couch up. Tear up my controller as well. Take out these stupid ass buttons. <laughs> my couch! My couch! Oh, there's a safe right here. Okay. Oh. Powerful UV lamp. Oh god, it's even more like Midgar than I thought. Where do I take this spirited information? Oh. Well. Almost looks like where I'd have to go. I like it that the, uh, the robots have facial features. Welcome back to the stage of history. I did get sheet music that I could go talk to the one guy. Dang. Wait, you're not the musician. It's over here. Kid Rock? Ball with the ball, the bang, the bang? Please stop, please, please stop, please stop. Getting out of here. What's my name? Kid Rock! Who's this Momo everybody's talking about, huh? Where this Mumu at? Yeah. 
Johan. Yeah, it was at the neon sign, which is where I thought I was going. I mean, and I found a uh, bookstore, bookshelf. Well, there's no tape in there. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. Yeah, I think I dropped the paint can right here. Oh, he's pissed. Hey, I'm gonna go in here now. Oh God. I don't see anything I can screw up. Oh, detergent! Yeah. Getting out of here. Stole his shit. I'm getting out of here. Thief! Sorry. It needed to be stolen. I don't even know what I need that for. We'll find out. So I gotta get back up there-ish? Maybe to this dude? Maybe there's an entrance down here? I'm looking for my sheet music to play the guitar to some ambience. Okay, yeah, we already did that. Did that. Grandma uses this to craft her unique clothes. What? I'm getting information. Infor informative information. About what must be and how must do. Information? Shut up, chat. Ooh. Oh, dang it. Kitty! Kitty? Chill. Spazzy-ass cat. Uh-oh. The music has kicked in. How the hell did that happen? The cat music. Damn, I'm just fucking shit up. I'm a cat, whatever. Nice portrait. Clementine. Hey, hey. Well, the transceiver went down there in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I know how he's lucky all that. Oh. Yeah, we should go see that Momo person. If I could find out where the hell it is. I was about to say, I should be able to climb under the bed, and you totally can. And of course you can. Wait, is that more sheet music? What the sheet? Hey, kitty, kitty, control yourself. Control your behavior. Oh, sheet it is. You can climb under the bed. Shut up, chat. I don't know if you're... 
Crazy cat horse shit. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, there's a shortcut. Did I just unlock the Dark Souls shortcut? Oh, yeah. No! No! I did not. I did not. I did not. But that cat feels real stupid now. Stupid cat. Wait, wait, wait. What did that say? Oh. Well, I haven't been down here. Oh, hi. Are you grandma? I got that. You knitting out of cable? Cool. Cool. I get it. Uh... I don't... I have to give that to somebody? At some point? I don't- I don't have- I don't think I have, like, an equipment screen. I don't have my, like... Character equipment screen. Music is leading me in this direction. Something about it. There's a triangle icon on Grandma. Let me go check. I have an inventory. Right, I do. But I can't, like, equip. For a cold robot. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, these are for robots that are chilly. And then you leave. Truly a cat. Show some slight affection and then get the fuck out of there. To the stage of I think somebody in here did not have... No? Welcome back to the stage of history. Okay. Huh? Well, where the hell am I going now? I am a cat. I'm back. Alright, focus. Keep this cat shit in focus. I need to get up there. Again. Can we just jump up these things? Guess so. This is definitely a main character. Fucking transceiver doesn't work. Oh, 
We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers from sisters. We must stay away from the Zerk. It is signed Clementine Zabaltazar, Doc and Momo. Storybooks. Okay. Welcome back to the stage of Damn, look at this motley crew of robots. They look like the, the, the band that precedes the gorillas. No, turn that off. No more music. Cats don't like music. What the fuck? Oh my god, my controls are reversed. Oh my god. My controls are reversed. I don't believe it. Take this thing off! Somebody help me! Okay. Gotta be some other shit in here. Illuminate! Deilluminate. Aha. Alright, I think I'm done with this place. Rip this shit up. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Leaving my mark. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Hold on a second. A second. The cat did not know what to do. The cat could engage like six different things right there and then did not know what to do. Oh. Okay. So I gotta look for like the uh, the lanterns. Oh. Mad lanterns over there. Hella lanterns they would say in cat language. Fucking get up there, kitty. Oh, there's mad lanterns over there, too. I have too many options. I got decision fatigue. Whoa! Kitty. We're gonna figure this out together. Yeah, let's just take that. Welcome back to the stage of history. I didn't grab the thing? I thought I was supposed to take this in here. Ooh, drinky. Mmm. Purified acid rain. Yeah. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do out here. Zero clue. Am I just going downstairs? Bruh? Wait a minute. There's some crazy shit going on. I got new memories, chat. I'll be sure to use them effectively. something I missed in here. For sure. You guys are comparing this to Death Stranding already? Well, I think the more important thing is why is Stray better than uh, Last of Us? One and two, right? How did Stray... The important answer we need to find is how how did stray make last of us one and two completely irrelevant how did it happen what was in stray that made people forget those games even existed what was it uh oh oh that's already where i've already been listen to meow and there's some shit It's Balthazar! Return to Momo. Hopefully he's not been attacked by, uh, robot dogs. I think that should have been the enemy, right? If you wanted to- if you wanted to have a... Uh, a true, a true very political sort of cat game. There, the, the, the enemy in this game should not have been weird little, like, alien robot amoeba. It should not have been the flood. It should have been robot dogs. With, like, chainsaws for teeth. And missiles on their back and shit. Yo, Kitaro, thank you. Kitaro Saga. Oh, wait, Kitaro Sagawa, thank you. Uh, where was Momo again? Over here. With lasers for eyes. Suddenly want to play Revengeance again. Uh, yes. In fact, I have found several. Found Balva Patanzazar's notebook. Right. Wait a minute. Did you, did you have nothing to say about that? What the hell? Oh. Cool. Progression. We're about to get out of the first biome chat. Voila. No, that's really important, but you gotta give me a second. Fucking hold on a second. Hang on. You just It's a modem. Roger. Cool. 
Art. This is biome number two. Here we go. I like all the graffiti, man. We're in like a a a a, a, a weird, not human robot world. But for some reason, all the robots want to, like, as we just saw, express themselves through art in some way. Whether it's like science or creation or something. The robots are trying to be people. It's pretty cool. That's pretty neat world building. That's some creepy shits. Yeah, and I think the real question, uh that you're asking, and I have, I don't know if I have the answer, but it's worth asking the question is, how did Stray make Super Mario Brothers for the original Nintendo absolutely irrelevant and stupid? How did this game do that? How was it the game where you play as a wandering cat in a, in a neo-futuristic town, make Super Mario 64 look like an absolute piece of shit? How? How have we gotten here? How has it happened? Where and how? Where were you when Mario 64 became irrelevant? <laughs> Due to Stray. I'm being hunted. I demand answers. <laughs> Where's your answer? Speaking of Mario 64, um, I've never actually played it outside of maybe like 10 to 15 minutes of it when I was very young, if not maybe on your video games. I've never actually played Super Mario 64. I've never actually played Mario World all the way through either. Not even gonna lie. I think I've only beat the original Mario Brothers like once. Mario 64 was on the system that I didn't have. I was more into the Saturn and the uh, a bit of the PlayStation. I feel like if if there is one of those like game opportunities next to like Symphony of the Night where I've never actually played through it myself, I've just seen people play it. I've just seen speedruns of Mario 64, but I don't really know of anything of how to do it. Um It might be that might be a fun playthrough, you know? Maybe starting with Mario World might be good. And not doing any skips, right? Don't Don't bitch out and skip. Huh. Interesting. Um, I beat Mario Odyssey, and I've played almost, I, I, played, I think I played like 70% of Mario Sunshine when it came out, and I really, I loved Sunshine, man. I thought that game was great. Uh, but... Odyssey was amazing. I played a little bit of Galaxy, like the first couple levels of Galaxy, and I got to like... I remember getting to the the moment you get to Bowser and the huge epic like choir and chorus kicks in when you fight Bowser and I was like, this is fucking amazing. But I just never played much of the game after that. Mario Galaxy I thought was really fucking cool. Uh, but I never played the OG ones. I never played, and I, I kind of want yo video games to continue Super Mario Brothers and the Lost Levels. Where am I supposed to go? Because we, we were playing that and actually kind of enjoying, you know, Mario Brothers 2, the lost levels. It was kind of it was kind of fun. I'm thinking that might be it might be nice. I've played most of the Crash Bandicoots, yeah, I already have. We we have on Yo video games as well. Um I think it might be kind of interesting to go back and play some of the classic Mario games. What Nintendo should do is announce another Mario game that would give me a great fucking reason to do it. I don't know how there hasn't been a Odyssey 2. Yeah, we don't need to do a full-ass Mario Legacy. I don't need to do that. I'm not gonna go play, like, the friggin' 3DO Mario games or whatever the hell they were. Mario's busted buttcraft. Forget what it was called. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't announced a new Mario game either. It seems weird. 
Hotel Mario, that's the one, yeah. And Mario learns typing, yeah, the classic, you know. Have I beaten Breath of the Wild? Negative. I have not. If I was to actually go back and play Breath of the Wild, I would need to mod the fuck out of that game. Not gonna lie. Oh, this place is sticky and nasty. Um, once again, I thought Breath of the Wild was an amazing experience in the first, uh, in the first couple hours, first day. But actually following the, the game's path that the game wanted me to play was not nearly as enjoyable. Yeah, I would have to, like, remove dur- Ugh, this is getting gross. Remove the durability thing. Play the game at, like, high-ass resolution. These things want my nuts. I can hack the door as a cat? Dope. Okay, so if I let these things out, what happens? Do I just jump over here? I just jump over there. Oh god. Can I not jump up there? Oh, I gotta barrel it up. Suckers. Why does it look like you're in Silent Hill now? Because game has story. Yeah, I don't think Breath of the Wild is a... Uh-oh. It's one. Singular. Creeper bug. I don't think Breath of the Wild is a bad game. I don't think it's as bad as, like, Kenny or even... Simmons to a degree, think. I just... I just, I don't know. Doing what the game wanted me to do just didn't end up being that much fun. I made I made my own fun in that game, and once that was like, I realized that there wasn't much else to it, I was like, ah, fuck, I'm good. Chat, we made our own fun with that game. I don't know if you guys were, were here for day one of Breath of the Wild, but holy shit, man. That, I, I have to give that game credit. That, that adventure that we had essentially just... Just figuring out how the game's systems work and grabbing a fucking pot lid and then fighting the robots with no levels to us. Like, no, no, no leveling up, no hearts, no nothing. Dude, I could have... I didn't even know how fairies worked, right? I didn't know where to get fairies. We didn't know that because it was day one. We didn't know how the things worked, but I figured out how the combat works and I figured out how the parry timing worked, like, pretty fast. So, in the first few hours, um, we made it to the last boss. We actually made it through all the, the mini sub-bosses and all that shit. It was, it was super fun. Um, and I was able to get to the second to final form of Crazy Ganon. And I, and it was, it was tough because I had no health, but... If I knew that you could just cut up some of the grass earlier and get fairies, and they would resurrect me, oh my god, dude, we would have beaten it that night. We literally would have beaten it that night. Kind of did the same with Horizon. Yeah. But ultimately, when I was playing through the game... This is cool, by the way. When I was playing through um, Breath of the Wild, I wanted to get cool-looking gear, and I found a lot of really cool-looking gear on my way to the final boss. And I didn't have any equi equip requirements. You know, I can just stick it on. So I was like, oh. Sick! You know, I look awesome. What other, other cool-looking gear is? Well, there was this cool paladin gear that you could buy very early in the game, but uh, you needed money for it. And I had all the money in the world because I had essentially just fought and collected shit from enemies that were literally at the end of the game. Uh, and when you figure out the mechanics, you can kill the minotaurs or whatever the hell they were relatively easy. So... When I went back and bought everything, I was asking him, like, is there anything cool else to get? Because I had the cool space-looking armor from the robots. I had the the cool paladin-looking gear. And somebody linked me to all the armor sets in the game, and that was it. You're just playing the game for a story. I'm like, there's no better weapons. You could essentially just get the Master Sword, and that was about it. I got all the endgame shit at the very beginning of the game. So I don't I don't know if I blame the game, but that it, it left it that open to me. Where I essentially, it like ruined my ability to 
enjoy the other parts of the game because it's like scripted, this is where you should be going type of thing. It, it, yeah, it, is that my own fault? You know, is it my own fault that the game was like, hey, there's Ganon's castle. It's right in the distance. You can get there, you know, go ahead. But that seems like the whole point of the game, right? It's, it feels like there, this, this isn't a, like, the dev's problem or my problem. It's just, like, the nature of the situation. It was also the fact that I, at that point, I did not really like open world games just in general. And I was looking for something in the open world to fascinate me, and it really did, man. I kind of wish that game's world was a bit more like... Did Elden Ring do the same thing, though? It didn't. No, El Elden Ring has hard caps. Like, really hard caps before you can get to final bosses. It, Elden Ring has a big expanse of open world, obviously, but you have to do specific things, right? You have to kill this, this, and this. I can't just run directly to the last boss and then just fight the last boss. Um, in Breath of the Wild, you actually could, you know? You didn't... You needed, you needed all the elements from the bosses around the world, but it wasn't like there was a big fucking door that I couldn't get through. No, 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 I just ran the fuck in there, and there was nothing blocking my path, and I... I essentially... That, that adventure of, like, going through all of this shit was actually very fun. Of just, like, geez, these enemies are ridiculous, like, I have, I have three hearts, you know? I'm, I'm just hoping that I could parry them and maybe just get a little bit of damage off of this, like, mounting attack or whatever the fuck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know? And, and by just playing the game, I was so enthralled by all of that shit. Ow! Ow! Um, and that I just kept moving forward. It just was so much fun. So I have to- I have to give the game credit. I really held that experience valuable. Even though it only lasted, like, six to eight hours. It was only, like, six to eight hours of me, like, going through that. I still really enjoyed it. Yeah, you're required to make preparations to win. The crazy part is that if I- if I knew more about how the game's systems worked and the, uh... What's it called? The, like, the fairies and stuff like that, which were right outside the main area? If things were, things were just right there, I just didn't know. Um, if I knew about that, I would have been able to beat the last boss. I, I only needed, like, an hour or two of practice against how those, because it's like, this boss, this boss, it's like three bosses you have to fight, and then you get to the main last guy, and it's the second form of the last guy. I made it to the main last guy with no anything, with, like, almost not getting hit at all. And it was just, like, looking at repetition and shit. Anyway. Those guys are over there. I can make a jump up here. Goopy. You know what this looks like? Ghostbusters 2. It's a river of slime! You can say the game rewards you for being good at it. I mean, it did. It did, but... The... The bigger issue was like... There was like mounting attacks you can do. I'm just remembering like five, six years ago or something whenever it came out. But there was, like, mounting attacks you can do that did not break your weapon and only always did a certain amount of damage. So you had to, like, set up the enemies to get hit by those. You know, the Lionels would essentially die. Because if I, if I ran in there with some shitty sword, the Lionels would just break my weapon, like, immediately. So if you did, like, a, a, a dodge or something procced, like, a triangle circle attack, right? Like, one of those, one of those things. And no kidding, uh, you could get like a mount that would do a set amount of damage and then you do so many mounts and then they would just fucking die. Either way. Sorry I'm on like a uh, Nintendo tangent. I was just thinking of like classic Nintendo games that everyone loves that I just for some reason didn't play. Because I was a Capcom kid. A fighting game kid. I'll try Breath of the Wild too when it comes out. I'll try not to like ruin my game experience. Oh, 
I got a meow. Is like a hole in the wall? Yeah, they don't give a shit. Uh... Gotta do... Two... Well, those are just out of range. These things want my ass real bad. Oh, I think I just have to solve this in two parts, right? Let's just take care of this in two parts. Hack door from outside. Run over Nya. Jump over Nya. Uh-oh. I have to be quick about it. I have to be fast about it. Gotcha. I have to use a cat brain. Ah! Ah! Go, you asshole! Oh, they're still... Oh, they didn't even come around. Okay. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. You stupid bugs. Damn, nice cat jump. I like Biome 2 a lot already. It's good. Yo, Arden, thanks for the 70. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Hurry up! Hurry up! Oh my god, how am I dodging so many? Hurry up! So many of them are kidding! Kitty! Kitty is dead! Oh god, extra retry, died! This is a kitty! There are too many showed up! Kitty is dead. Man. Ah! Oh, there's scaf- is that scaffolding? No, it's not. It's scaffolding without the apple. Joy. Whoa! Like a bunch more drop down right here, right? Yeah. Just running for it. Oh my god! Oh my god, kitty! 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 No! Kitty! Kitty! The door wasn't open. The door was blocked. Okay. Let me see how I actually have to get up there this time. I have to jump on one of these things and then hop up. If I don't make that jump, it's over. Yeah, this is the first, like, um, this is the first casual barrier you have to break through, chat, in this cat game. It really is. This is like the blood starved beast of Stray.
<laughs> it's the Anjanath. That one died? Was there too many on the map? Oh my god. Yes, I would agree with that statement. This is the blood soft of uh, cat souls. Games. Fab Selector, thanks for the 63 months. Okay. Core memory unlocked. Oh, there's all the stuff we went through. Neat. been abducted. I can't even go in there now. What the heck? Took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of the antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... Admin. <laughs> Was that an O or a zero?
the bar was where again? This looks like a bar. Kitty, eject! Lucky I went the right way. Engage. Does the story explain why this cat is so special? Yes, the cat is like a cat human robot hybrid. It has uh, the brain of a human, body of a cat, and the uh, the robotics of a robot, and is also um, with his brother going about the kingdom to to save the kingdom is the mushroom kingdom his brother's name is luigi first we do Guy looks like he knows what he means. He's wearing that jacket. Very important. I'm gonna go get a cat gun. Let's go get the cat gun. Okay, we have to go find the red nine, and then the striker. This person is still cleaning this shit up. Uh, no, it's not PlayStation exclusive. Console exclusive. It's on PC as well. stop playing chat so that means I'm uh, planning on probably finishing this but where there we go cat time it's cat time I'm gonna fuck some shit up. <laughs> Sorry! Hmm. 
I'll just knock them all down for the sake of posterity. Hmm? Anything else? Just take this one down too. Okay. Well, there's a 16 on that clock. What the shit? So it's two, five, one, one. Fucking genius. 69, 69. There's a 16 on that clock though. I'm confused. Why do they have 16 hour, 16 half days? 16 day halves? Cats! Chat, once again, like... I, I was telling you this the entire playthrough of FF7 when Midgar was lit at night, when it was lit! Um, the... They constantly light Midgar with nothing but blue and orange hues, which are like the most basic color adjacent colors you can possibly use that are like appetizing and that's like 99 percent of this game as well where like the slums are nothing but lit by blues and oranges because that's just the nicest complement of colors you could possibly have it's the it's the easiest right it is the absolute easiest complementary colors you can possibly do is blue and orange but once again it fits <laughs> and it and it feels really nice this room looks so good Old bacteria of human time eat all kinds of materials, total vision in the dark, react to the intense light. Wait a minute, like this? I have light. Huh. Eat raw metal. You have orange and blue lights in your room? Yes, I do. That's my, uh, that's one of my temperatures I use in here. And my cat music. Kick on the cat music. Ah! A prompt did not show up earlier. Find our gun. You coming? Someone? Someone? Jeez. Poor memory. Wait, does this all give me energy drinks? Hey! Boink.
Ja. I think the bucket is bugged. I think the bucket's bugged. Don't worry, Chad. Don't be afraid. The game can't hurt you. Can't meet you. Let's take some of your shit. I found the right person, thank God. to you. Give him an energy drink. There's got to be some swag around here, right? Got to be something I can fuck up. Shortcuts. all these hard drives. Realistic. I had to go back to what's his name, but let me try to, uh... I have two energy cans. One can. Uh. Hmm. I need the three energy cans for the other one. Bank. Give all this guy this sheet music.
This is fine. Oh, it ends? Doesn't. It got better. Yeah, alright. Oh, dang it. Dang it. So close. All right, give me a sec, chat. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to leave you with this. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I did not unmute the mic or bring my camera back. That's good. <laughs> it's legit. What's wrong with the chat, right? What the hell? <laughs> What's wrong with the chat? I just ran in here and like ended the music. I was like, I'll save you, chat. <laughs> he doesn't want this? I did. He fixed the tracker. Or maybe it was a, a book. No! What is that thing, huh? Can you talk to Seamus again? Isn't that who we were just talking to? Oh, I got mixed up. I think I skipped a step. Lead the way.
Okay. Okay. Intensify. Thank you, dude. Back to the flesh land. Comes the cat gameplay. That's why they failed. Biome number three. Uh-oh. Go, kitty. Oh, my God. No, ah, I had a funny idea. Stuck. Huh? There we go. Uh oh. Am I actually supposed to be piloting this? I don't know if I, I don't know if I have much control as a cat. You lick your foot and you're fully healed, just like real cats. There's got to be some secret shit over here. Oh, 
Welcome back to the stage of history. I wonder if that's supposed to be his, um, his memory. It's like actually related to his uh, creator. <clears throat> Maybe. There's a bunch of shit to do in here. Uh, wow. Glowing areas are pulling me towards them. Uh-oh. It was a terrible idea. Wait, is that a... I thought it was a vending machine for a second. It's like, daw shit! Whoa. What? What? I just happened to find my way in here? Wow, uh, literally. Doc. I wonder if this is a Back to the Future reference. Right? Literally, Doc? Great Scott. Did he say that? You know? I wonder. Because the other guy has, like, the jacket just like Marty. Yeah, the defluxer capacitor. I think it's a Back to the Future reference. Seems pretty obvious at this point. Be a secret door or something. Oh, whatever this is, it's a gun. <laughs> well, if it wasn't already super apparent. We don't need any more, though. All right, we don't need any more. It's already very apparent. <laughs> Aims it at the cat, and the cat explodes. <laughs>
Let me back in. I'm a cat. Let me back in. Dang it. I'm a cat. Let me back in. That's what cats do, chat. You let your cat out because it asks to go out. And then it immediately wants back in. And you're like, the fuck? I thought we had a thing going here. Nothing weird over here? Oh, oh. I just happened to fall upon exactly where I need to go. Doing anything? Or are we just supposed to murder all of them? Cool. Very cool. It works. Hell yes. I knew that the light that you had on your little uh, robot guy was going to be the thing that eventually kills things. Here's literally the test. Right, but I would like the uh, the power to blast these things. A hey. Oh, it's got a recharge timer. Okay, okay. Nuke the shit out of these guys. Okay, now I have a gun. And an escort mission. Electric City has been cut, uh, so where do you want me to take these barrels, game? We just want to move, obviously, this one this way. And then this one the other way. Ah, shit. I think I can jump up there. Much less over that fence. 
Uh, oh, is that where it wants me to go? Over here? Just like it. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm a cat. Can't just push things. Hmm. Huh. I mean, I could try. Wait a minute. Pivot. Damn it. Maybe there's something down here? I just go all the goddamn way? Ah, there's a vent. It was hidden behind the leaves. The leaves. Is this a shower or something? Ah, oh, the bugs! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Jeez. Jeez. No touchy. clear. Cool room. Goddamn bugs at. Wonder if that's the best way to do it, to be like Final Fantasy VII roller coaster strats chat. You just have the button, maybe? Instead of just depleting all the fuel. FF7 Coaster Strat is that you have a laser that shoots enemies, but it depletes as you go down, and you have to wait for it to recharge. The gimmick was if you mashed shoot, it would be beep 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 instead of just a full stream of laser, and it would actually take way less time to recharge. Marty, my son. <laughs> Marty, my son. <laughs> Marty, my son. <laughs> Sewers down here. Oh, this place is all opened up now. Look how ominous this looks. Nice sweater. Yo, Zuka Pen, thanks for the 25 months, dude. I'm going in. Music just suddenly stop? Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> 
More hard drives. More capture cards. More RAM. Chat, you can download more RAM. It's right here. The Balthazar. Yo, Momojo, thanks for the prime. Cool. Cool. That's a place where only cats can go. We can see it now. Am I gonna say goodbye or something? Goodbye. inducing but efficient This looks great. Holy hell, the PlayStation 5 chat. Now with actual fog. That's real fog, you know? You know, like... Literally, like, mist in the air. It pumps real fog into the game. Fog so thick you can taste it. When you're sleeping, the PlayStation has to eject the fog, or else it could damage its internal components. And then it creates new fog when you fire up your PS5 again. I know the devs. Of course the door's broken. Meow. 
I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Oh shit. Tell them I was brave. Oh God. We just entered our aliens moment. This is great. This is great. Oh, chat, it reminds me. We gotta play Aliens Fire Team. Didn't that actually get the update? I think it got the, the, the cross-play and all that stuff. I think it actually got the big update. We gotta play Aliens Fire Team with your video games again. We really do. That game is fantastic. They got a bunch of new areas, a bunch of new enemies, like new weapons, new new classes, like all that shit. We really gotta play that. Ugh. Cats definitely don't like this goopy shit. Oh, they blow up and they puss up. How did that one survive? Yeah. What? One's stuck in the wall. Hey man, if I don't need to go down there, I don't need to blow that up. Oh, I think I do. Right, is holding it. It burns out way too fast. This is the actual strat. Is this just like a cool bonus thing? I think it is. Yeah, it's just about this memory location. This is just a side quest. Cool. Thank you, King. Thank you. There's a lot of head crabs over there. down, man. Genotype, thank you. Thanks for the five gift subs. 
Ah, screw it. I'll just go up here. Time to shoot things with my gun. Okay. Didn't even burn out. Didn't even stand a chance. Okay. Hell's over here. I don't even see this. Okay. Wonder if this has got ray tracing and everything on it. It's hard to tell. Whether it's fake ray tracing or real ass ray tracing damn just in time oh god try not to clear out everything right uh oh There's probably an achievement for killing every single one. The opposite? Oh, really? So there's an achievement for never killing any of them? That's kind of neat. Super passive. Are OLED TVs a good choice? Yes. Yes, if you're thinking of upgrading your TV, I would definitely get get an OLED. You'll feel like you're going a complete new console generation above what you currently have if you get an OLED TV. No, I don't like that. Nope, I don't like that. Oh, shit. I should squint. And you hit him with that. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, this is the worst. That's it, that, that's it, like, pushing out a bunch more. It's like, yeah. Damn it. Cool. Weird. And creepy. And kind of cool. I think it's no, um, I think it's no, uh, coincidence that the cat kind of looks like Jonesy as well from Alien and Aliens. And there's also Back to the Future references. It's pretty clear that the people that made this game 
are my age. <laughs> you know? Because the best movies of all time are absolutely Aliens and Back to the Future. Crazy Black Dude, thank you. Cats modded after one of the dev cats? Yeah. I mean, I could see that. Also looks just like Jonesy. I did something. Oh, I gotta unlock both of them. Both of them. Uh oh. This place is pissed. these things can go in water. I don't think so. Goodbye. Chaotic Biscuit, thank you. Did I hear a camera? I could have swore I heard a camera. Maybe not. Scratch opportunity? I'm good. I don't need to scratch everything. Oh god. Oh god. to go. some extra path you can go in here. Oh god! Light's broken. We're truly at endgame right now. We lost our gun.
Get this thing off me. Civilization. Wait. We're back? Or are you different? Different guy with a hat. Wow. Wow. Wow, look at this place. Holy shit. This place is lit. Very well. Oh shit. Yo, what? Glad I came over here. Why can't why? Welcome back to the stage of history. Talk to you. Climb the ACs. Whoa. I like this guy. It's transcendental meditation. She's the one who can get you there. Apparently she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you.
This game's pretty great. <laughs> right? This game's pretty great. It's one hell of a vibe, that's what it is. What? Run a wheel or something. Welcome back to the stage of history. Really go back to the front? How oh, funny. Welcome back to the stage of history. That's right, I went on these to get up here. Oh, I can show this guy a item? Uh, I just, I just have the one item now. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, time to climb. Hmm. Hell to now. Ah. All the arrows and yellow shit should tell me where to go. Nice hat. Whoa, I can present items to all these people. Holy crap. Slowly but surely. Crazy cat bullshit. Stuff that only cats do. In insane mountain goats. So sick. Is it a subway? It is. Oh, 
Is this place inhabited? Is it habited? Yeah, this this the game should have just been called The Last of Us Cat. Not the last of cats, no, the last of us cat. Colon cat. What is this lo-fi this guy's got on? Turn that shit off. Turn that shit off. That's much better. That shit's great. Whoa. What the hell? It's a whole ass city. Oh, that's Robo City up here. What the hell? Bot. Wow, so everyone just got stuck down there with no way to communicate. Well, we're definitely not at the top, we're just up a bit more. The world down below is just completely cut off. So now we've made it to the world up above. Midtown. Where they recycle and repurpose. This is crazy. What the hell? There's an old street? What the? Okay. Uh. 
Start looking for symbols and shit. This game is more cyberpunk than cyberpunk. Again. Uh... Okay. So, three predator dots and then five predator dots. Like I don't need energy drinks anymore. Three red predator dots. Ah, uh -huh, five. So three is floor three. Up again. Aha. Uh -huh. Entry. Oh, we gotta fuck some shit up. It's muy importante. Gotta live out the cat experience. After umbrella. Role playing the cat experience. This cozy ass place. What do I do from here? So, bouncer guy. Bomber jacket and a gold chain. Bomber jacket and a gold... Wait a minute. Was that not the dude reading the newspaper down in the alley? Was it not? He was like, scram. There 
where he is. Atomic battery. That that shirt. That's a virtual on robot. Yeah. See it? Oh. Oh. Uh, we have to go back down here. No, it's to the uh, the bomber guy jacket. Yeah. I think it was this dude, right? I already talked to these guys. There it is. Oh, I have to get it for him. What? I have to uh, acquiesce it? Whoa. That was a cow the cat zip chat. Some new speedrun strat. Uh. I gotta, like, knock this guy out or something. With cat power. Can't go in there. Clothes shop and the hats shop. Uh, okay, so it's actually just from a shop. Look at this dude. Yeah, this game has a good chance of getting Game of the Year. It does. Um, if Elden Ring wasn't going to win Game of the Year for the next 10 years. You know, there would be a really... I think this game has a really good chance of taking Game of the Year. Uh, if Elden Ring wasn't going to take it from it for the, until 2030. You have to get ready, chat. Elden Ring's gonna win Game of the Year for the next decade. Can't interact with any of these anymore. Oh, yo, don't. Wow. Feel like I'm in 2011. I just got zipped back a decade, chat. Feel that? Damn. This just straight looks like. This just straight looks like some place in LA. Big crash on his head could wake him up. <laughs> Aha, cat time. Oh, <laughs> 
Why am I following this guy? I'm gonna follow this guy wherever he goes. Wherever this guy goes, I'm following him. And he just became one of the townspeople? Uh oh. Did I just find another way in? On accident? Maybe not. I don't know if I should get out or not. Oh, wait. I'm in... I, I just realized I'm in a hat shop. There's the hat. Go find a jacket shop. Jack a jacket. <laughs> I saw this exact kind of helmet. They're really good. This game's net code is fantastic. It's really good. Can you pay me with real money? Fantastic. Definitely doing some cat things. Jesus. Sound of shit just breaking. Alright, I need to find the, uh... The jacket shop, wherever the hell it is. Found it! Huh. 
I sort of hacking at this. We're gonna get pissed. So I don't even see the jacket in here. Oh god, I'm an idiot. Yeah, okay, so I can't steal it right in front of your eyes. But I need, uh, music. I need a tape to put into the machine. Or something. For music. So I need somebody who's a musician. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That guy might have a mixtape. I can't see shit, Captain. Was that me doing that? That was me on accident. Sensitive button. Yeah, this guy. Hey. Hey. I think I already destroyed one. No kidding. I think I actually destroyed one already. Okay, okay. One over there. Where the hell? Oh, there was that one there. Is there one like up above above? Aha. There it is. Welcome back to the stage of history. Dunzo. Dang it. Kitty. Work with me here. Those are held up by like thumbtacks. Oh my god, these robots are getting the fuck down. That dude has... Megaphones for eyes. Cool. Cool. Very cool. What the hell is that jacket shop again? Like, what the fuck is that? What the, what the fuck? What the fuck is that noise? <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ. All right, mission accomplished. Uh, where the hell do I have to go? Mind turning around. Going in. This game has a lot of charm, dude. Like a lot.
Oh, literally Metal Gear sequence. Or segment. Get in the thing, you freaking cat! Yeah, Neko means cat in Japanese, I think. That was close, chat. Almost screwed that up. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Stop worrying so much. Oh, there's a big ass lever right there. Ah, got zapped. Oh, God, the cat is dead. He had a gun. Why did he have a gun? Why? Oh! Speed running, running the night. You don't see nothing! You don't see nothing! Going the hardcore way, chat. Okay. Taking the, uh... You know, the finesse approach. Oh. Shortcut. Taking the finesse route, Chad. It's a very special route. No one else knows about it. Why that works, I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Whoa, that's close. Guess I gotta bring it to the other one? I turned you off! Jump! You missed something outside. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fucking shit. Come here. 
Turn it off. Oh shit, oh fuck. That got a lot easier all of a sudden. Where are you? Stupid Roomba, come here. Whoa, whoa. This battery goes all the way back at the start. Uh-oh. And we're literally back at the start. How funny. Fucking robots. Oh god, cat. What the hell did we just jump on? Are we being serious? Oh my god. Oh oh my god. Oh my god. Will you all chill out? Dude. Give me a break. And you still Being a huge bitch about this, you know? Alright. There we go. Solved. Oh, fuck. And we made it. Probably not gonna be here. I mean... Cops are everywhere. Probably at the subway. The answer lies in my stuff. Oh, shit.
literally is lo-fi shit playing in the background. How funny. Brute force the fuck out of this puzzle. You watch this. See? Brute forced. Welcome back to the stage of history. In the nightclub. We just gotta go to the nightclub. I don't need to finish the rest. We just gotta go to the nightclub. There's a hidden area up here. Where the lo-fi is playing. Because of course. Because of course. <laughs> because of course. You can still meow while sleeping. The credits start rolling. Hey, let me up. Wish we could fast travel. Shit. Back way into this place? Huh? Welcome back to the stage of history. Open that door for me. You want me to go up there? Huh? How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Eh? This way. Using cat zips. What the fuck? Damn it. Didn't lead to anything. Just some asshole. Aha! You wanna party with us? <laughs> you wanna party with us? Thanks, Alex. That's a definitely a Daft Punk reference. 
Where's my fucking contact? He's got a robo vape. Bitch has a robo vape. <laughs> I would like something to drink. I don't have any money. What is that thing? <laughs> I need somebody's money. Crap. Shit, I need to steal some money now. Anybody drop five bucks? I need five bucks. Oh man, thanks for the five gift subs. I need five bucks, not five gift subs. They're, they're like microphone heads. Thank you. What? I'm going places now. Why am I up here? What am I doing here? That was the guy that let me in. Hmm. Wait. Progress. I thought that was like a Dark Souls ladder. How did that do?
Oh my god. Oh my god. No place to go. Was there three buttons? There was. We made it. You two time and mother Pfeiffer. credits I'm gonna be pissed Still alive, boys. Huge puzzled brain. Weird. He's updating windows. Oh God, kitty. Oh God, kitty. Uh, can I like jump on the railing or something? gonna work out.
Of course it is. Why is it so bright in here? F whoa, whoa. I have no idea where to go. One with the green light, right? Aha! What? Shit. I think I have to make the turn the other direction. I think it's actually that way I want to go, maybe. Oh, shit! Uh Huh. Welcome back to the stage of history. It's got to be in one of these doors. Saw nothing. Oh my god, I even alerted. <laughs> Must have really pissed it off. <laughs> oh man, I really pissed this thing off now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's really bad. All right. to go up there oh shit welcome back to the stage of history yeah isn't that where I f no that's not where I came in from oh god cat There we go. I'm a kitty cat. Android and uh, Mochi Daddy, thank you. Why's my cat ass stuck? This is a smart cat. And Miles F and Prowler, thank you. Do I gotta guide you out of here now? Are you kidding me? Welcome back to the stage of history.
You're gonna jump? We have no idea what they're saying now because we lost the uh, the robot. Forgot about that. I was like, why is there no more translation? Oh. Conveniently placed for cats. Like they knew. Cats gonna sneak in here. Yeah? this door? Negative. Uh-oh. You saw nothing! Scary. Making progress. Oh shit! Booking it. Okay. Done. Yeah, indeed. So I can hack the planet now.
cool. <laughs> Working together now. Cat will pull big lever. What is that thing? What what is that thing? Bitch got rebooted. I was dodging, man. I was dodging very well, and then I didn't. It was going quite well, I'd say. Kitty, no! That's close. Oh, the robots are working with us now. That's good. Yo, Dark Knight Mask, thank you. Currently absorbed into game, sorry. Oh. Oh, that was the puzzle. Gotcha. Game now has vehicular combat.
I mean, you could have just picked me up. Whatever. I guess we need the car to also get out of here, right? I guess that's the idea. It serves two purposes. Oh, shit. Hey, you're leaving without me, man! Keep you in my RAM. Is it weird that when I play this cat, I want to press L2 sometimes to do like a, a an in-place skid and then go three times faster? Like I'm playing Monster Hunter? Here we go. Cats using a subway. Yeah, a lot a lot of the music in this game has been fantastic so far. safest city. Okay. Okay.
Definitely getting closer to the top, that's for sure. Troll room. Only humans. Welcome back to the stage of history. Uh, that's all messed up. Do these robots just get stuck in here and they are cleaning it forever? Because these robots are not like sentient, like the ones down below. These ones are more like the what they described them, what they were intentionally, right? Just like helpers. Do I have any items? I have no items. Access. No triangular access. Black tools. There we go. Use cat abilities. Using cat ability to naturally destroy things. Oh my god, that was the fattest core memory. I just unlocked. of computers need to be turned on. Whoa. Holy shit. The upper level and the lower level. I can actually see the infested building too, yeah. That's really cool. Am I not turning them on by walking on them?
Oh. Oh, the keyboards. Nice. Cat skills. Huge puzzles. Giant brains. And you destroy some stuff. Very cool. There's the big orange sign from the beginning of the game. Wait, I see a panel. Time to do my cat business. Scratch and hack. like two or three of these stations. Is just the one? Ha. Huh. What do we have here? Cat tap. Poppin'. Uh oh, there it is. Just didn't see it. But <laughs> dropped them in the wrong spot. Sampy, thank you. Okay. 
Oh, Jesus. Natural light. Jesus, so many layers. hell happens now? <laughs> Can't talk with anyone anymore. The cat was above ground at the start of the game. And fell into the city. Oh, shit.
Now you get to go back to your homies, yeah. That was cool. That was cool. I didn't even realize that that's technically what happens at the beginning. Right? Yeah, because they're just stuck down there. They have no idea what if, if, the, if the world is actually inhabitable anymore. Until the cat eventually opens the door. He thinks the out- Bumbo thinks the outside is okay now. That a cat can actually live. Yeah. What a cool game. Right? What a cool game. I thought it was great. I loved it. Straight two in a year, yeah. Um... Yeah, I thought it was great. What a cute game, you know? Just well executed, just fun. Super charming through and through. It's more of like an experience kind of game. You know, but one of those things that, yeah, you, if it's like 30 bucks or something like that, I think it's absolutely worth it, you know? This would, this is like, it's like, it's like a, it almost makes like a great, like, movie story in many ways. You know, where it's really confined. It feels like this should be an anime, right? But it is interactive. You can talk to its characters and engage, you know, throughout. It feels like it would make a really great, like, animated short story. But then they're able to, like, really flesh it out and let you explore and live in this world for a bit. Yeah, I thought it was great, man. Super high quality, super cool. You know, fantastic. Not many games are like this, you know? Really not. And that's the difference is that, you know, then why don't you just watch a movie? Well, the game's interactive. Like, the way you play through the game is going to be relatively different for everybody. Your, your personal experience and how you, how you play as cat uh, is going to be different person to person. That's the whole point of a video game, you know? That's why video games aren't movies. They're transformative. So... It's got a, a great little story, you know? Just a great little- a great little story. <laughs> Cats. Uh... Yeah. I liked it. I really liked it. You know? It's all about immersion and just letting you into this world and all about- all of it's really charming and really sweet. The game is like honestly, uh, the on, on executing its vibe, very good, right? It's very, very good. What did they? What did Annapurna make before? Does anybody know? Yeah, that's the beauty of the interactive medium. It really is. Yeah, th this could be like a twelve-hour playthrough if you wanted to make it. Is this really their first game? No, they're the publisher. They're just the publisher, gotcha. But in terms of these devs, this is their first game. I loved it, man. I thought it was great. I think it's absolutely worth 30 bucks. I think if the game kept getting longer and longer and longer, it would have felt exacerbated a bit. I thought it was the perfect length. Yeah, I loved it. Shit, man. I'll be thinking about it for a while. What a great story.